Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. He forced himself to learn English fast. The children went out and bought themselves candy. I myself wrote this specific lesson for you all. The couple cooked for themselves. Students like yourselves still find this grammar point hard. In this lesson, we're going to look at reflexive pronouns, so stay tuned. That's right, reflexive pronouns. When do we use reflexive pronouns? When you wish to show that the object or the indirect object of a verb is the same thing or person as the subject. This is the main point of reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are, for example, for I is myself, for you is yourself, for, or yourselves if it's plural, to, uh, if you are you and your friend, for example, yourselves, he, himself, she, herself, it, itself, we, ourselves, okay, we said that you changes to yourselves because it's plural, they, themselves. So when do we use reflexive pronouns? Well, the first most important point I already told you, I repeat it, to show that the object of a verb is the same person or thing as the subject of the verb. So, like my example, he forced himself to learn English fast. So, himself is the same as the subject of this verb, force, to force. So, he, himself. Another example, the lady introduced herself to her new employer. Herself is the lady, is the same subject, right? The lady herself. So introduce is the verb. We also use reflexive pronouns to emphasize that the indirect object is the same as the subject of the verb. If you don't know what is an indirect object or an object, you may click here to find out and watch the lesson. The children went out and bought themselves candy. Themselves here is the indirect object because I ask who bought candy? Themselves. So themselves is who? The children, the subject. The children themselves. Let's take a look at the other example. She saved her money and paid herself the debt. So herself. Who pay or paid the debt? Herself. Who is herself? She. So she is the same as the indirect object. Now, I'm going to erase this and I'm going to look at three other cases where we use reflexive pronouns. Yes, we're back with the reflexive pronouns. The third point, use reflexive pronouns in addition to nouns or personal pronouns. Personal pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. This is used in order to emphasize who or what you are referring to. Let's look at my example. I, myself, so I, myself, wrote this specific lesson for you all. Another example. He, himself, called me after the meeting. So you can see that himself and myself emphasize the personal pronoun. 
Number four. Use reflexive pronouns after a preposition if the subject and the object of a preposition refer to the same person and the clause does not have a direct object. Maybe it's better if I show you the example. The couple cooked for, preposition for, who? For themselves. Themselves here is the reflexive pronoun of the couple. The couple are two people. They. They cooked for themselves. So, the couple cooked for themselves. Themselves here, again, is the reflexive pronoun. Now, the other example, she was ashamed of, preposition of, herself for being late. Herself here is the reflexive pronoun and it, uh, it attaches to she, the personal pronoun. And here is the preposition mentioned in the description of, the, uh, of number four. Okay, um, and you can see that um, these two sentences don't have a direct object, right? They don't have a direct object. Like I said before, if you want to watch a lesson on indirect or direct object, you may click here. Now, for number five, use reflexive pronouns rather than personal pronouns. So, personal pronouns are like me, like I, you, she, he, the ones that I mentioned before. As the object of a preposition for emphasis, again, for emphasis, especially in casual conversation, just like my introductory example. Students like yourselves, and here is plural, yourselves, because they are not just one, but many, so students like yourselves still find this grammar point hard, this grammar point. Now, the other example that I wrote, the speech ended with a conversation between himself, so somebody, himself, and an old friend of mine. And here we have himself and uh, um, somebody referring to he, obviously. He and an old friend of mine. So if you wish to post your own example of a reflexive pronoun or a question or a comment about the lesson, you may do so under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do, so that next week you'll get a new lesson. If you wish to share the lesson, please do so. I wish you the best and I hope to see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.